had lunch with Riley. The only thing I don't like is school parking. <laughs> parking lot, it feels so tight. kids you guys I don't think myself can work at school <laughs> I don't hit I don't think I have that patience you know like constantly telling them be quiet and just eat your food and whatnot oh my gosh just one kid in the house just Riley I'm totally drained already. <laughs> and then working with all of that kid. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. So now I'm going home. I'm planning to film an unboxing. Um, we received a present for Clyde. I'm planning to do an unboxing for that and then uh, pack my things. Well, I already packed my clothes and necessities. I just need to pack uh, Clyde's laundry soap. He's almost out over there in the hospital and I'm doing laundry almost every day over there. For now, in our family, Clyde is the winner of the laundry <laughs> but yes I'll pack uh, the last bag Clyde's clothes that I brought from yesterday is washed my clothes is packed um, just adding a little stuff I don't have to cook because John will arrive at 3. He will be already had. He would already have lunch over there at work. Riley will be home at 4 and then we'll be all leaving. They'll drop me over there and probably just have early dinner. So once they come home, they just go to bed. And you know start over again tomorrow it's been pretty hard you guys it is I mean you know me making sure that Clyde is well taken care of but at the same time worried about Riley if she's well taken care of well John is taking care of her really good but you know it's I don't know, as a mom, I guess. <laughs> so yes, hopefully it will be over soon. We are getting really close to coming home. So yes, I'll keep my finger crossed. We'll, we'll, we will be staying in the right direction. We are in the right path. We just have to keep Clyde healthy, keep getting stronger, no infection going on, just on point. <laughs> that's, that's what we need. And then we can come home. He is gaining weight pretty good, but it's not in the point that they really like it. So, you know, it's, it's been a struggle. Uh, the, the other side would like him to weigh as 10 months old. Well, as you all know, he is a premature baby. 
well, the main pediatrician, his pulmonologist, his cardiologist, every therapist it, it is, what is it? Not measuring, <laughs> weighing him or the base, their baseline of he, all of his development and his weight is according as his actual age which is his actual age will be seven months because he is he was born three months early so yeah it's as the seven months old his growth chart is on point yes on to the point <laughs> that he's almost overweight on his seven months old growth chart but on his adjust no correct <laughs> sorry this is it's still confusing me okay his actual age is 10 months but his adjusted age which is his real due date or based on his real due date he will he is seven months so at his seven months age chart growth chart he is on point on his weight well a little bit shorter on his height but the dietitian is always based on his actual age but his actual age is 10 months so that's why he said he is 18 percentile they want him to be at least 30 or great if it's 50 percentile you know which is a little bit of struggle because on his care if I am there I always correct them or not correct them like I want schedule according to his schedule I want treatment according to his schedule like his feeding is 8 o'clock some uh, some respir respiratory therapists get so busy I know it's not their fault I know it's not they're not doing it intentionally but if they get busy it's either they come early or they come late or during the feeding time to give him a breathing treatment which is I don't like I would prefer that they come early and if they come late late like an hour after the feeding because when they do the CPT when you call it breathing treatment they have to do the CPT like you have to tap hard on their back just to open their lungs and of course even us a grown-up or adults if we are eating and someone patting our back all the foods will go up or will come up and spit up and he would throw it up and that's what happened and if one one on the time that I am there staying with him, I would always tell them if they come late and I know that they are BC, I'm not blaming it to them. But if I am there, I would always want it to be unscheduled. If they come late, I'll just like give it to me and I will give the breathing treatment to him. We are all, we are all checked off of all the treatments. So I can do it independently without them. They can just give the medicine to me. So that's what I always do because I don't want, you know, moving him a lot while he is feeding or else it's <clears throat> defeating the purpose of him growing up because we're doing extra calories, we're doing extra protein, we went up to the volume and he will just throw it up because we're moving him a lot while he is drinking milk and aside from that he is so hyper so when he is awake he won't just lay down he will just he will be up and about that's what he wants when he is awake so i like it that's the advantage of him being in a g2 because once it's feeding time i always um timing the nap time during the feeding time so I'll always put him in a nap and lay down on his side the GI doctor told me that it's very helpful if I during the feeding if he is laying down on his left side or propped up 
Well, you can't prop Clyde and laying down and just prop because he will just can't stop kicking. He will non-stop kicking. That's all he wants. So when he's taking a nap and laying down on his left side during the feeding, great. And then he would probably wake up 30 minutes after the feeding. So that's already great set up. But you know, once again, if I'm not there, it's it's all over the place and I can't blame them because the nurse will have four or five patients a day so it's not just him so it's and the same thing the same thing in the respiratory therapist so it's it's very hard so that's why we come to an our schedule arrangement is I am staying there I'm coming home when John go to work so I can stay with Riley and it's been hard it's people who knows me or people see me they will like you are very strong no I'm not I'm just trying to get things together but I'm breaking down especially when the light is off at night it's it's hard it's hard especially you're a mom and you're not your kids are totally apart because we got stuck of Medicaid. But yes, fingers crossed. I'm praying. We are getting close. I feel it. And yes, I'll just keep praying and hoping that we will be home soon. And all of us will be in the same roof. It would be really, really nice sleeping in my own bed, waking up in the morning. And Clyde is just step away just next door next room from us and you know but yeah just like they said God will never give us a trial or a problem that we can't handle so yay so I'm in the house now and start packing I just want to jump.
My mommy's arms is hurting. Hmm. The ends go marching six by six. Hora. Hora. The ends go marching six by six. Hora. Hora. The ends go marching six by six. The little ones stop to pick up sticks. And they all go marching down to get out in the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ends go marching seven by seven. Hora. Hora. The ends go marching seven by seven. The ends go marching seven by seven. The little ones stop to pray for heaven. And they all go marching down to get out in the rain. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> the ends go marching eight by eight. The ends go marching eight by eight. Hora, hora. The ants go marching eight by eight, and the little ones stop. And they all go marching down. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching nine by nine, around, around. The ants go marching nine by nine, around, around. The ants go marching nine by nine, the little ones stop. To look at the time, and they all go marching down. <laughs> ding, ding. The ants go marching ten by ten. Hurrah, hurrah! The ants go marching ten. Hurrah, hurrah! The ants go marching ten by ten. The little ones stop to shout. The end. And they all go marching down. And get up in the rain. Ding, ding. No, mommy, sir.